Hi, I'm Stuart J. Perlman, and I want to welcome you to Stuart J.'s Lens, the tales of small business in McKinney. I hope you enjoy today's tale. It comes straight from small business in McKinney. This is where my dad uh, was born and raised, um, in the home next door to the building here. And um, we'd come up here on the weekends and just had tons of fun. I'd spend summers up here. I inherited the old home place, and um, that's where I started cooking the jelly. Um, part of my family settled here across the street here um, in the mid-1800s. Yeah, so we go way back, and then my grandfather actually built the home place that I'm living in in 1910. So, That's the Luscombs famous. go way back. Yeah. And the Luscombe was the family name all the way back. Right, right. And then my grandmother was a roper. Okay. So, yeah. So you know everybody around here. Well, sometimes it feels like that. <laughs> sometimes it feels like I'm related to everybody around here, too. Yeah, but it's fun. Kind of like Louisiana fun. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was born in Louisiana, be careful, and I was a single mom, raised my son here, and uh, worked in Dallas for many years, and I got tired of the drive, and I decided to reinvent myself, and that's when I started cooking my jellies, and we built the building and the that's commercial great. kitchen. So. I was actually executive assistant for a nonprofit, Okay. and um, I started doing gift baskets for different people. and. That's how it really all started. I've been making the jelly for years and giving it away. I had so, so many people, you know, coming to me and ordering it as gifts. And then I thought, you know, the gift basket business, I can't believe it. It's been 19 years really? that we've been making gift baskets. So, so were you doing that out of your house while you were working? Yes. Yes. Okay. And that was my little part-time job when I get home. So. And when did you brand it? When did you put Luscom Farm on, on, the, on the jar? October 2008. Right. I was going to outsource it, you know, have it manufactured, and I thought, I've heard all kinds of horror stories, and I am actually glad I've done what I've done. We're cooking it here, and it, that's why it tastes so good. You know, it's fresh. That's why it tastes so good. That's right. What? You're always selling. Look at that. That's right. <laughs> what? My grandmother, and she canned everything. They had a huge garden. This was a full-blown farm. My, my grandfather was a very large farmer back in the day and they had cattle and gardens and she had a chicken farm and so yeah i learned it all from her what was the first jelly you ever made professionally <sighs> professionally the the pepper jelly yeah jalapeno pepper jelly and then about six months into it there was a big uh, peach festival and so we added peaches to it and um, then we made our blackberry and then we made our Sweet Fire confetti, which has become our number one seller, and it's the hot one. But the Sweet Fire confetti, it, it, it has the habanero base. And I tried to stay away from it being too hot, but I tell you what, it sells like crazy. The neatest thing happened last year. Um, we're in the Neiman Marcus um, on, online, not on the cat in the catalog, but online. They have our jalapeno pepper jelly. And it's actually in a set with some other products that are jalapeno based. So that was kind of exciting. And uh, but we're in Market Street locally. Market Street, uh, Patina Green, local yokel hams in downtown McKinney. But Patina Green, uh, Robert has um, used our jelly on his sandwiches, and he makes a wonderful cheddar biscuit with ham with our jelly. And so that's been really exciting to see see your name on his list of sandwiches. You also are at the Farmer's Market, or you have Yes, been. Farmer's Market is just a ton of fun. It's every Saturday from 8 to 12, and I just, you know, it's good advertising first off, but I just enjoy meeting the people. It, it, that's, that's the best part about this business is the customers. They're just wonderful. So, and it's just fun for them to come up. You make this? You really make this? Do you ever take off? Do you ever? Um, not very much. <laughs> Have you had a vacation in four years? Yes, yes, yes. Where did you go? I went to Austin. Yeah. <laughs> I can't go too far. <laughs> and I wasn't gone that long, four days. But it was great. I love Austin. So. <laughs> That's not a vacation. <laughs> I, well, one of these days. i got to get my kid through college. Wide-eyed and grinning, 
she never tires. I guess we've been in business maybe less than a year, and we went out to um, Zest Fest, which is a huge festival. There's, it was my first year to do a big event like that. And I had my little checkered tablecloth and everything, and my little apron on, and I ended up winning best of um, won best of show, and then we also won People's Choice Award. We were in FD Lux. Uh, we were voted the top ten gourmet items in Dallas. Oh, have you have, have you entered uh, the jellies at the State Fair of Texas? You know, I haven't done the State Fair of Texas because you have to give up your recipe. Um, but I have one at the State Fair of Texas on my pies. We, we started something new here that I wanted to tell you about is our cooking school. And we have um, on our website, you can go under cooking school and see our list of classes. And um, I think our next one is actually May 12th. Uh, Robert from Tina Green is going to be here from 2 to 4. And uh, we set up chairs in the kitchen. and. It's so much fun. We get to eat the food he prepares and he gives you recipes. In June, we've got a lady that wants to teach sauces. We have had Italian class. Um, so we're just doing everything. So, right. And it's local um, local chefs that are coming in and doing this. So. Why don't you take this to the Shark Tank? The and, Shark Tank. And get Mark Cuban to give you a million dollars for 5% of your company. And uh, yeah. explode. Yeah, yeah. Any ambitions like that? Yeah, actually, I have. Um, I've thought about it, but I, I can't imagine. He would probably. They probably eat me alive. I'm serious. If you think you have a story to tell, send me an email. But I have to tell you up front, it better be good.